Hello and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to nest scenes and sources in OBS and Streamlabs OBS so you can have all your sources and all your scenes in their own specific folders so you can have your OBS nice, neat and tidy. Roll the intro! So, nested scenes, why you should care about it and why does it matter? So nested scenes are a way to categorize your sources and scenes into specific folders, just like what you would do in Windows or, or in your desktop. You would put a certain category of pictures or images in a folder into Windows, so it's all nice, neat and tidy. This is kind of what we're going to be doing with OBS today. We're going to be putting all of our sources and our, all of our main sources into uh, nested scenes. So we have a much cleaner layout. As you can see down here, we have a few sources here and there's, there's quite a bit going on. And sometimes it's a little hard to find what you want. So today we're going to show you how to go from this to this. Wow. Let's get right into it. Today we're going to be using Streamlabs OBS uh, just because we can use it with Streamlabs OBS. We can also use this with regular OBS. I think it's a bit easier using Streamlabs OBS in this demonstration. Um, so let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to make a new scene and we're going to call it, why don't we just say memes folder. There we go. At that. So as you can see, we've got a blank scene here. Nothing's going on. So we're gonna go back to our just chatting scene with all of our sources. So as you can see here, we have some we have some beams going on here. Uh, we've got a bit of pizza time. Uh, we got we got we got a bit of that. Uh, we got we got a bit of Among Us because because we're cool like that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we want to activate. We want to put those memes into a folder. So let's start doing that now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our sources right over here where our memes are. We're gonna right click it and we're gonna hit copy. We're gonna go into our memes folder and then we're gonna just paste it in here. There we go. So now it's all in a folder and it's all categorized. So we'll go back to our just chatting scene. We'll delete those sources. Now we just have a scene with memes in them. So we're back in our just chatting scene. We have a memes folder. What we're going to do is we're going to nest some more sources. So as you can see here, we have an alert box, a donation goal, media share, viewer count, tip ticker, tip ticker, <laughs> follow at a follower goal. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put all these little, um, these little widgets into their own folder as well. So let's do that now. So we'll do what we did before. Add a new scene. We'll call it widgets. There we go. And so what we're going to do is go back to our just chatting scene. We're going to copy all of our widgets here. So all the ones that I mentioned before. Copy that. There we go. Go into our widget scene and just paste it in there. There we go. So now we can delete those from our just chatting scene. Because we don't need them. They're in their own folder. So as you can see here, we have a blank canvas there's nothing really going on in our sources we have a background we have a webcam so what we want to do is we want to add our memes folder just for now we'll add our memes folder to the source list so what we need to do there is add a source and we need to add a scene this is where it gets a little bit confusing but it's pretty easy once you get it um so what we want to do is add a meme add the memes folder as you can see right there and click add source and so now we have all of the things in here so you might be asking why why isn't anything showing well it's all deactivated so let's learn how to activate those memes in the folder so they can show up on here what we want to do now is we want to try and activate those memes that we have nested into our scene so what we're going to be using for that is we're going to be using the stream deck software with the stream deck today but this will also work with other applications and so on. 
So what we want to do is we want to activate a meme. So we're going to click on source. We're going to drag it down here. We're going to select the scene that this source may be in. So memes folder. We're going to click that. And we're going to click on pizza time. So let's, let's, let's activate pizza time. We'll call it pizza time. There we go. So now we'll make that a little bit smaller. And we can kind of see that there. And we'll just press it. And there we go. It works just like that. And so what we could do now is we can go to a uh, game scene, such as here. We can click the plus button. We can click on scene. We can click on memes folder, add source, do what we did before. And we can activate the exact same hotkey again in a completely different scene. And it'll still work. So that'll keep playing on game scene as this scene. Just with the exact same hotkey. So it can work on multiple scenes. So you can do this with all your memes on here. We've got our memes on there and we kind of understand how it works. Um, let's finish this video off with adding the widgets to our scenes. So, as you can see, we have our widgets folder here with all of our widgets that we want on our stream. Let's go back here and uh, let's add a new source. Add a new scene as from before. And we want to add widgets. So just add that there and then voila, we have our widgets here. We have our follower goal. We have our live view account. And we have our donation goal. Um, now, we, if we want to add that to another scene, we can easily do that. Go to our game scene right here, click the plus button, click on scene, add widgets, and then there we go. It's exactly the same. So as you can see, the widgets are exactly the same for our just chatting scene and our game scene. Source list is already much, much cleaner than it was before, as it's all categorized into their own certain scenes. This video helped you work out what nested scenes are and why you should really have them on your stream especially if you have a lot of sources they're very very useful i use them on my stream very regularly to usually use with hotkeys and memes usually when i trigger a meme it's a lot easier just to press one button because you know it's going to be on every scene that you have so that's the way i use it and it works for me very very well uh, but i hope this works for you as well um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Uh, I stream on Twitch four days a week. Uh, if you want to check that out and see see this implemented uh, live, then yeah, check that out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time. Adios.